Hey guys, welcome to my humble abode. Today it's really early on Sunday, November 18th, and a lot of you guys will know that that's a significant day. What that is, is this afternoon is the F1 race in Austin, Texas. Now the only problem with that is that I'm here in New York, and as you can see, I'm bundling up because it's about 35 degrees. But I figured what better way to celebrate the race than to go for a ride and my buddy Jonathan Adler's tiny, tiny little Lotus. Now, we've talked about this a thousand times, but what better way to show it than on camera is it's only one aspect to detail a car. The second part is to drive it like crazy, and that is exactly what we're going to do today. cool things about getting into such a tiny car like this and being such a lanky long dude is you gotta sort of get in a, a particular way and it, it goes like this first put your foot in like that then you put your butt in like that readjust believe it or not it's actually pretty comfortable so we're on our little rally today and we're in the 2005 Lotus, owned by that guy right there. Who better to uh, tell you about all his upgrades and the history and all that fun stuff than you? Hit it. Well, it? okay, so it's a, right. It's a 2005 Lotus Elise, um, which I track. So it's had um, different mods. I mean, we've upgraded brakes, uh, a lot of suspension work, uh, a little bit of aero, exhaust, steering, endurance stuff. You can definitely hear the exhaust. Yeah, and that's the that's like the that's the quietest exhaust they make with this car. Otherwise, I'll get thrown out of Lime Rock. I've already gotten talked to a couple of times. Black flag type of thing. <laughs> they pulled me in. They said uh, you need to short shift when you go by the the, uh, the tower. Oh, that's the uh, gentleman's way of saying. Yeah, they're saying quiet. they're saying that Lime Rock is an 86 decibel track, and you're 91. So like one more run like that, and you're out of here. So what's interesting about these 05s is they're they're Euro spec cars. They're um, all the other later Lotuses, uh, Exiges, Elises were all, you know, modified for the U.S. market. These were brought in as full Euro spec cars, which is kind of neat, makes them unique. Uh, what's also unique about it is it actually has creature comforts. It does a, a fair impression of being a real car. It's got heat. It's got heat. It's got air conditioning. It's got power windows. It's got a radio with an iPod interface. I got a roof. The things we appreciate, windows that go up and down. You know, you never think how much you appreciate those things until you drive a Cobra. Can I go? Yes, you can go. The Cobra's got, what do we call it? 280 suspend? 280? 280, 280 AC. 280. Two, two windows down or two non-existent windows, 80 miles an hour. That's your air conditioning. Exactly. And the only heat it's got is, is for the driver's right leg, which roasts you <laughs> around the clock. Unfortunately, you can't regulate it. Yeah, exactly. It actually has, the Cobra has a, a knob that says heater. And, you know, this is, these are old British cars. So when I got the car, like, you know, you turn it on, you hear a fan running somewhere, but you don't feel any heat. So one day I asked my dad, who's like an old school British car guy, he's like restored Heelys and Jags and all that. And I'm like, dad, like, you know, what is this thing? He goes, oh yeah, it's the heater box. What's a heater box? He goes, oh, just, you know, turn on, reach under the dashboard and look for a knob. I'm like, what do you mean? It's like, like a little wooden knob, like, like, like a, like a furniture, like the thing you pull your drawer out with. And I reach under there. I'm like, there's a knob. He's like, pull it. And I pull it and this little trap door opens. I swear, like something you made in like wood shop when you were nine, this little door opens and heat comes flying out. I'm like, son a of, of heat, a right? bitch, a lot of heat. He's wow. like, yeah, that's the heater box. You gotta open this little door. Like talk about manual, like holy crap. There's one on each side. I'm like, no shit. 
heater box. But this just has a regular knob. This has got like machined aluminum, you know, little knobs for, although the fan speed has three of them, they just make more noise. They don't, not really more air comes out, but you know, it's still, hey, I'm happy I got it. I got a radio, you know, I can't really hear it that well, but at least it's there. I got, I got headlights that kind of work. I'm telling you, it's luxury. And I can soften the suspension. It can go from earth shattering to just mildly migraine. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs>